Let's begin in prayer. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you. For, and Lord, I just thank you for this opportunity to just be able to pour out in your name. And I do so to the best of the skills and ability that you have given me. In Jesus' precious name, I pray and thank thee. Amen. Amen. Ooh, this is kind of... This is kind of kind of wild. When you do this on a normal basis for for a living, Pastor always said, when you get up here for the Lord, it's, it's much much different. And he's right. I I have never been nervous. I made that claim. I've never been nervous when I speak, because I speak to a lot of people a lot of times. But when you're doing it for the Lord, it's for the kingdom, it's for life. So, so the the title of my message is, Are We Willing to Exit Out? To enter in. Are we willing to exit out to enter in? Life is a, is a manifestation of the process of in, exiting and entering. It's, it's about transition and it's about transformation as, as one of our, our goal this year. But the definition of transition is movement, passage, or change from one position, state, stage, subject, concept, etc., mm -hmm. to another. Yeah. Just take a moment to think about that. Moving from basically one thing mm -hmm. to another. Yes. But when we talk about transformation, mm -hmm. we're talking about change in form, yes. change in appearance, yes. our nature, mm -hmm. our character. Mm -hmm. See, as people who were once in the world Amen. We were once in the world, but we are now in Christ. But when we were once in the world, we were one way. Mm -hmm. And because we were that one way, that was our character. That was our nature. Mm -hmm. But see, when we get to the point where we have, are transformed by what, by what the Holy Spirit is, is given to us, the Greek translation of that, it says transformation is continual. Mm -hmm. it's, not just, it's not just once you become saved. Mm -hmm. We have exited out of sin, and now we're in salvation but we are continuously changing. It's a day-to-day -day process. Yes. Would, anyone, would one you, anyone disagree with me that when you go, move from the world to salvation, it's a day-to-day -day process? Yes. And it's not something that we, we think of all the time, but when we have that challenge, mm -hmm. when something that we used to do, our old character, our old nature comes up, we have to, from our mind, we have to exit out of that thought and enter back into our salvation. Mm -hmm. Because we have to find our salvation. We have to, and we, you know, I heard this morning, and, and, and it, when, I, when I heard it, it was like God just spoke to me from, for the message because I've been challenged all week. I know, I know a lot of us have been challenged. I talked to a lot of the, the people in the class, and God put it on me today, said, you're going to do it even when you don't think you can do it. Mm -hmm. See, my biggest challenge is I wear contacts, and I have to wear them, and my eyes get to the point where when my eye gate is interrupted in any way, it disrupts everything that I do. Mm -hmm. And I, I made a point. I talked to pastor. I said, I'm going to fast this week, fast and pray all week long, 6 to 3. Mm -hmm. And admit it, I said that to him on Sunday, on Monday morning. It was on. Mm -hmm. I, just, I, I just was, a few times I was blinded. I was driving down the road, and I literally had to pull over, take my contacts out, put my glasses on. And generally, I can't see as well with my glasses. But when we're talking about how we see ourselves and what we're looking at, I want everyone to turn in, in your Bible with me. Ooh, wait a minute. To Romans, the 12th chapter, verse 1 and 2. And for the sake of time, I'm going to just read quickly through that. I'm reading out in the King James Version. When you're there, say, I'm there. If you're not there, I'm going anyway. Amen. And bear with me because I got to look a little closer than I normally look because I can't see. I got one contact in the other. Okay. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, mm -hmm. by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, uh -huh. acceptable unto God, yeah. which is your reasonable service. Uh -huh. Re reasonable service. Mm -hmm. Exiting out of what was minimal. And entering into what is reasonable for Christ. Mm. Mm. Okay. And be not conformed to this world, uh -huh. but be ye transformed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. feel, like, feel like an Autobot right about now. Mm -hmm. By the renewing of your mind, uh -huh. that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect 
will of God. The transformation, that's, that, that's what we're saying. Making that change from one nature, one character, one way we do things to a whole other way we do things. Mm -hmm. But then we move forward, we have examples of that. We have examples of moving from that exiting out of one thing and entering into another. We have the example of exiting out of childhood and entering into adulthood. Mm -hmm. I'll loosely, and my scripture for that is, is 1 Corinthians 13 and 11, but I'll loosely translate that. Paul said, when I was a child, I spake as a child. But when I became a man or woman, mm -hmm. I put all childish things away. Mm -hmm. That's that form of exiting out of one thing yeah. and entering into the other.